a must do retreat for women physicians looking to reset? Is this you? Because I know so many people out there, so many physicians are feeling burnt out. So many physicians need to start taking care of themselves and being more intentional about how they see their lives going forward because we just can't continue the way we are. I'm going to introduce to you uh, a way for you to go and retreat. I've done it myself. Um, I'm so happy to have Erica with me again. My name is Dr. Elsie Co. I am the founder and CEO of Lead Physician Online Leadership Program. I'm going to talk to you about that at the end. And I'm also the Chief Medical Officer of American Endovascular and Amputation Prevention. Go to our YouTube channel and subscribe so you, you get notified anytime a, a video like this comes on. So let's just talk about it. Let's bring Erica on board here. Erica, thank you so much for being here. I just want to introduce you really quickly. Erica is, uh, here's Erica Howe. She's the uh, physician and founder of Women Physician Wellness Conference, and she's a board-certified hospitalist and a nationally known educator and prolific speaker. Tell us about your conference. Let me just show everyone a picture of her wellness physician, Women Physicians Wellness Conference, which has been around since, what, 2018? Uh, yeah, 2018. Exactly. Our first okay. one was the beginning of 2019. Yeah. Yeah, and this has grown so much, and I've been there. I've done that. I know what it feels like to go through it. Tell us why there are women who don't know about this or the women physicians who've gone to us and need to go again. Tell us the three big reasons why women want this and why they need it. Oh, thank you for having me, Elsie. I would say the three big reasons why women need to come is one, we build in rest, which is sort of um, like, a, like a, a, a bad word in the culture of medicine. So we build in rest and recharging into the conference itself. We only go for half days. The afternoons and evenings are free for you to rest and recharge and relax. I actually want you to go take a nap. And I want you to even build in a vacation into our CME getaway. And so it's really important that I want that you come and you learn and you strategize. So that's the second thing. But then in the afternoons, I really want you to take some time for yourself um, because that time where you're resting, you're reflecting on the strategies that you've already learned in that morning really help you start to figure out how you're going to apply that new knowledge and wisdom that our incredible speakers are teaching you in the mornings um, into your daily life moving forward. We've all been to those conferences that are 14 hour days and you leave more exhausted than when you came. And even if you were sh someone shared some really great ideas and strategies with you, many times you never have a chance to apply them. Well, that is not the case with WPW. So what's, resting. What's going on here, Erica? What, what is going on? Oh, in my gosh. Here? OK. Uh, when does that so happen? we. In addition to our regular 18 um, uh, CME credit hours that we get for each three-day conference, yeah, we also yes. build in morning uh, strength uh, mind-body workouts that count for CME, if you can believe it. So the amazing Dr. Ali Nowitzki, she yeah. runs these morning mind-body workouts and basically teaches you at the same time. So even though it's a lecture, you're working out at the same time and you're working out in Grand Cayman or another tropical location that we have on the beach. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, it's really inspiring and it really starts your day off on a really good foot. So you talk, also saw a picture of lectures, meditation yeah. and we do morning meditations as well midway through yeah. our day. So that really wow. helps again with that resetting and really, okay, how am I going to apply some of these strategies? How am I going to kind of calm that brain down for a minute and really yeah. start to focus on what I do next in my life and how I gain clarity um, in my career and my personal life moving forward? Right. I mean, so many of us try to do it on our own and sometimes we need yeah. that camaraderie and we need that push from somebody else to help us do that. I mean, I know I do. And uh, surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded and, and yes. are ready to recharge instead of yes. doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Thank well, you so much. And that's my that. number three, honestly, is the connection that you have with other women physicians. Ah. We live in such a specific field that there are many, I mean, we have other women professionals around us, but they may not be able to relate to the specifics around what we are going through as physicians, um, whether it's the challenges of self-promotion and imposter syndrome or negotiating and conflict management, even difficult patients and challenging kind of colleagues um, or, or just getting ourselves up the career ladder. Those things can be very specific to women physicians and you need to be able to connect with other women physicians in a safe place 
and space and time. And that's what WPW creates is really a space where you can come together and share some of those really challenging moments in your life and the successes too. Um, but things that are very specific to us and only us um, with other women physicians and not feel like you have to hold back. Yeah. I feel like when I was there, there were times when I, there were people, there was laughter in the conference yes. room. Uh, people were engaged and really, <clears throat> uh, you know, I, some people have said that they felt like they were um, listening to people who, who are doing TEDx talks. <laughs> I felt yep. like the bottom one here, I felt like I was listening to a bunch of TEDx, TED talks. Um, but well, at, at the same and, time, yeah, people felt. And, and you have been one of our incredible speakers. And that's, I, I mean, and many of our speakers actually have given TED talks. And so we really want to make sure that we're giving the highest quality um, yes. of information and delivered in a way that's really dynamic and engaging. We've all been to those grand rounds that are painful to sit through for 50 minutes. That's not what we want here. So we make sure that every hour of um, every session is about 50 minutes long, but we build in a table discussion uh, so yes. that you get to know your table mates and you learn from them as much as you learn from the speakers. And so that you start to apply that knowledge in the session. And these are not the boring lectures that we've all sat through that are painful. These are really um, a very much a conversation back and forth. And I think it gets uh, to the heart of WPW being a place that is safe to share your experiences and your challenges. And then at the same time, learning from other people at the same time and learning from other women physicians that have been in those shoes that have gone through those steps that you've gone through. Yes, there's a lot of storytelling. There's a lot of uh, sharing of experiences. Um, and like you said, there's a lot of applications where people actually do little exercises that are not medical exercise, not rote oh. memory. This is about applying things to your life to make it better. So absolutely if you're feeling that strong, you feel like you're, you just need to decompress. Maybe you need to get away from the family. Um, you could bring the family along. I've seen people do yeah, that. Yeah, you can bring Women them like, oh, I'm leaving the family at home. <laughs> so. So there's awesome. so, something very powerful about coming alone too. Yeah, and, and you know we see a really uh, even split between 30% come alone, 30% um, maybe bring their families, and then 30% will come as like a girls trip and bring friends and colleagues. So we see the whole spectrum, and you are welcome to do any of those. My personal favorite is just coming alone and having the experience on your own and having that time just for yourself. But I, mean, I love everybody is to your destinations are amazing, Erica. I mean, you mm -hmm. you have Thank this, you. uh, you've added things to, you know, every time you have this every year, it's like uh, this catamaran cruise for people. Yep. I think you have this restaurant where it's farm to table that you get people together. Yep. I mean, the whole place is just unbelievable. We really want it to be an experience. So again, like we've all been to those, um, I, I went to a leadership conference one time and I never left the hotel, like not even to the beach, not even to the pool. I was yes. inside the entire time. And I'm looking at these palm trees outside and thinking, I mean, I'm in this beautiful location and I'm never even going to get to experience it. So that is not what we want for you. I, I want this to really feel um, as much like a learning experience and something where you're strategizing on your career and you're building skills. But at the same time, I also want you to rest and recharge. And that means getting out of that conference room and going to the beach with these other women that you're going to meet, um, doing some fun things, going to dinner. And I don't know about you. I am an extroverted introvert, so I love a good party. And at the same time, <clears throat> I also I'm that person that can walk into a room. And if I don't know anybody, feel really intimidated and like, you know, mm -hmm. how am I going to do this? How am I going to meet people? So we also try to set up. Um, a number of different um, events um, and then just structure our sessions so that you it's easy for you to get to know new people. So we have assigned table seating. Um, we have a number of excursions and events so that you don't have to worry about going to dinner by yourself. We've got that all covered for you and you just show up and you'll meet somebody new and you'll get to know somebody. Um, yeah. We have assigned seating. We have table discussions that are built into each session. So you start to actually meet the people that you're sitting next to. Um, and it, there's all sorts of little things like that that we really try to strategize on to make sure that everyone feels welcome, uh, no matter what back background you're from and, and what comfort level you have uh, in getting to know new people. So it's, it's all very strategic and important. 
tell us a little bit about uh, some of the topics that you're really excited about that's coming up. And let me let me just share the date again yes. so everybody knows. It's February 12th through 14th is coming up. So um, yes. just share with us, like, what are you excited about? So, you know, Grand Cayman is our WPW Climb. And it gets that name because it's about career development and leadership development. And this year, I'm really excited that there's a big focus on how to take your career to the next level. So we have a talk on control versus influence as a leader, uh, learning your leadership style and how to manage it when you're when you're managing other people, navigating the C-suite, um, how to promote yourself when you're going up for an academic promotion, how to build your dream private practice, and how to confront discrimination. So all of these, I think, uh, you know, are great examples of really important topics that we're just not taught in medical school. We learn no. the clinical stuff, but then you have to go and you have to manage other people. You have to manage people's expectations. You have to figure out how to get yourself into, you know, perhaps leadership positions or promote yourself, um, you know, to move up those career ladders. Uh, it's very complicated and we're just not taught some of those soft skills. So this conference is really about learning that strategizing with other women physicians on how to do it and how to do it a little bit better. And then how do I apply that new knowledge I'm learning? So when I go back, I really can take some steps to move forward in my career. So good. And some people come back over and over again. Why is that? Why do you see that? I, you know, I think it is the combination of the community that we have. Um, I'm really, I'm so honored to be able to build this community with all these other women physicians. Um, and I think there's a lot of connection and in our daily lives, many times, even if we're working side by side with other women physicians, often we're, we're so focused on our patients and our patients care that um, we're almost in silos and we can really start to feel very isolated that way. So I think WPW really brings women together um, in a way that creates a community that we don't necessarily have in our daily lives. Um, it does. We do build in that rest and relaxation. So you're not in a in a conference room for 14 hours a day watching a palm tree, but not actually, you know, getting outside. So yeah. you really actually get to make it a CME getaway. Um, yes. And you do get CME for it. We get we give up to 18 um, AMA uh, PRA CME credit hours. So that's category awesome. one. That's huge. That's a yeah. huge amount. Use your CME community. credits towards this. So um Maybe you can work with your accountant on getting tax deductions uh, on the expenses. Yes. You have three of these. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about how different they are and what time of year are, are each of them. Besides Grand Cayman being in February 12th through the 14th, you have Aruba yep, and Amelia Island. And then we, have, we have Aruba in May and Aruba is WPW Clarity. That one is focused more on personal burnout and building resilience in your work life and your personal life and maybe pivoting. So trying to figure out like, gosh, if this isn't working for me, how do I pivot in and, and make some changes in my life so that really my life is serving me in a better way? So it's a little more personal. And then we have WPW Connect. I heard from a lot of women physicians from day one, gosh, I would love to come, but I don't get my CME outside the continental US. Can you mm -hmm. do a conference inside the continental US? So that one we've actually now moved to October and that takes place in Florida on Amelia Island. It's a great getaway. It feels very much like a getaway and not like you're in a part of uh, the continental US. So it's a wonderful kind of atmosphere at the same time. And that we actually bring our top speakers from the other two conferences and do like a bit of a synopsis. So it's a little bit of each of the other two. And you get to hear from speakers from Grand Cayman and Aruba from that year. Each year we're changing things up and we're giving new topics and new speakers. So you get to hear from new people each year. And I think that's another reason why people come back year after year, because there's our, there's always new people and new information that you, I, I mean, I tell you uh, candidly, every single time I can, I host a WPW, I learn something new uh, because we're always having new people come in with new ideas and new strategies. Uh, and I think that's something that brings a lot of other women back too. Right. Thank you so much, uh, Erica. If you don't mind, I'm going to share your email. Is that okay or yes, not? Too. Okay. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if you have a need, a need for information from Erica, this is her email, E-H-O-W-E -E at themedicaleducator.com. Uh, my name is Dr. Elsie Kell. If you have a topic on physician leadership, please reach out to me so we can host you on this platform to help other physicians 
in whatever we need to do to get better and do and thrive in this life. Thank you so much for what you do, Erica. Uh, I want you. Uh, I want also. I want to invite you if you have any uh, issues with wanting some online leadership training. Join us at leadphysician.org. Tell us a little bit of some you know, some last words of wisdom for us, Erica, as we close. Oh, gosh. Well, and thank you for having me, Elsie. I so appreciate it. And I always love connecting with you. I would say last words of wisdom. Um, it's okay to prioritize yourself and to put yourself first. Um, you don't have to earn your rest. So take a minute and schedule something that is just for you, whether it's coming to WPW or doing another retreat or even just a weekend away where you really get to reflect on you because you have earned that and you deserve it. And you, you get to prioritize yourself this year. I love that. Thank you so much, Erica. Until next time, I'm sure we'll have you on again in the future. Take care, everybody. Please join WPW. The link will be down below.